Scott Brown. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. They gave you the clap. Okay, good. All right. Well, thank you, guys. And then, like I said earlier, when you have uh, in the Windows uh, operating system, you have on your keyboard, you have a print screen button, okay? That's kind of a last-ditch effort, in my opinion. I, I have some old equipment um, it, operating in our shop that's running like Windows 98, and we, you, know, you can't upgrade it because it's, it's running some specialized software. And I can't even run this Gene app. So basically what you have to do is you have to push the print screen button. What that does is it puts the whole screen up on the clipboard, which is your temporary uh, memory area. Then you open up a program called Paint, which all Windows computers come with. You go into Paint, you go Edit, Paste. Boom, it brings that in and then you can do some markups and then save it. So now we're gonna go on to Office applications. Um, there are several Office applications. The reason I'm bringing this up uh, the techs in the shop are probably not using most of these, but I, I encourage you to maybe explore them a little bit and familiarize yourself with them because they might be able to solve a problem for you someday. Or you may want to look at the future here where you're, you're not going to be wrenching all the time. You're going to need to know some of these essential communication tools that will help you in the office and workflow. Okay, I've got my Slack app up and running, and I'm currently in my personal shop notes uh, folder, so I'm only sending messages to myself. But um, I want to take a picture of this fuse block uh, showing a relay that I need. So I'm going to select the uh, upload arrow f next to the message indicator. Yeah, those are good points. So that's why I, I say leave Internet Explorer alone. I mean, don't don't go to Internet Explorer because there are there are issues where you've got to use the older version. Sometimes when you've upgraded, there's no going back. You can't go back unless you, you know, do some magic things on your computer. So, and it's kind of frustrating that some of those, some of those, uh, you know, companies, TechStream or what have you, they force you to use certain browsers. Now, TechStream, I know you can actually use other browsers on that. You're not forced to using um, Internet Explorer. Okay, his question was, um, and, and when some people are using search tools, and again, some people that have been around a long time know that search tools have had a lot of deficiencies, okay, and require you to do certain things in the search bar to, to narrow down on what you're looking for. This system, we, we'd like to think that doesn't really require a lot of that, but it does support the quotation. You want to know if you put something in quotes, does it constrain the search just to that particular word? Yes, it will, but it may actually reverse the words because sometimes guys might describe it backwards. We have gentlemen here from Mexico. Sometimes their translation, the way they describe things, they may have inputted it the inverse. So we don't want to filter that away from you. We want to be able to show that to you. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Let's give Scott a big round of applause. Thank you.